टू न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू व्यूज फर्स्टली इथियोपिया हैज इन्वाइटेड द यू एस फॉर डायरेक्ट इंगेजमेंट यास्टरडे डीना मुफ्ती इथियोपियन फॉर मिनिस्ट्री स्पोक्स पर्सन हेल्ड वीकली ब्रीफिंग इन इज ब्रीफिंग ही इन्वाइटेड द यू एस टू इंगेज विद इथियोपिया डायरेक्टली वाई डिड ही ऑफर दिस इन्विटेशन is it due to the new role which kenya has been given by the us that ethiopia is not happy with this new prominence given to kenya that ethiopia wants direct engagement with the us what did he say we'll have a look at that secondly viewers uh, we have an update for you from edi rk front uh, we know that almost uh, Uh, 3 to 4 days ago tigray defense force was pushed out of adrk uh, then uh, almost 24 hours ago we received some reports that uh, tdf uh, had started a counter offensive towards adrk we have some updates for you from this important front the rk is in north gondar it's on tigray amhara border it's in amhara region firstly viewers uh, dina mufti ethiopian foreign ministry spokesperson held uh, weekly briefing yesterday one point which he mentioned in yesterday's press press briefing is very significant viewers he said that uh, the us should to engage with ethiopia directly why is us trying to contact ethiopia trying to approach ethiopia through other countries and he clearly mentioned blinken's visit of kenya antony blinken us secretary of state a few weeks ago visited kenya in kenya he talked about tigray about ethiopian conflict he did not visit uh, uh, ethiopia then we were uh, i think uh, 48 hours ago uh, antony blinken called yuhuru kenyatta kenyan president and we saw a statement from from us state department too in the state it was mentioned that the call between uh, kenyatta and blinken was about two issues somalia and ethiopia tigray so that is what uh, dina mufti yesterday said that the us should not discuss ethiopian issues uh, with other countries us should talk to ethiopia directly it seems viewers that ethiopia is not happy with the importance which is being given to kenya by the us and by international bodies uh, for the resolution of somali political dispute for the resolution of uh, tigray conflict uh, kenya is being given importance uh, by the un by the eu by the us that is not going well with ethiopia why because both ethiopia and kenya have been rivals to some extent we can say in this region kenya wants nairobi to be the hub of economic activity in this region while ethiopia wants addis ababa to be hub of africa to be hub of east africa horn of africa and now uh, nairobi is gaining more prominence that is why i think uh, ethiopian government is sending a message to the us and other international players that they should engage ethiopia directly not through uh, kenya uh, some us top officials visited ethiopia within recent months like us aid chief samantha power then uh, us envoy to the horn of africa jeffrey feltman also visited ethiopia but they were not uh, warmly welcomed in ethiopia pm abi did not meet them perhaps that is why uh, the us decided to change its course then it uh, 
tried to reach Ethiopia through Kenya. Now Ethiopia wants direct engagement with the US. Secondly, viewers, we have some battlefield updates for you from Adi Erke front. Adi Erke is a town in uh, Amhara region, North Gonda zone. Three to four days ago, Tigray forces were pushed out of Adi Erke. We got confirmation from the ground that TDF was no more in Adi Erke. But uh, within the last 24 hours, we have uh, received some reports that once again Tigray Defense Force is trying to advance towards Adiyarke. And once again, this front has become very busy. We saw the same pattern in southern Tigray. Uh, Alamata. Tigray forces launched counter offensive and they managed to push. Uh, Amhara forces, Amhara militias and ENDF out of Alamata. And now front line is to the south of Alamata, close to Waja and other places. Same is happening here. TDF withdrew. It had to withdraw. People don't like the word withdraw. They say you should say, you should say retreat or defeated. Why do you want me to use the words of your choice? I mean, you know that what I am reporting... Uh, it's not uh, biased, it's not influenced by any party. Words don't matter. I, my position is very much clear that uh, wherever a TDF withdraws, obviously it's due to pressure. It has to withdraw, otherwise uh, it uh, uh, will never withdraw. So, uh, TDF had to retreat from Adi Erke three to four days ago. But now, once again, once again, TDF is not going towards Mesamre, towards uh, Takeze. It has launched a counter-offensive towards Adi Erke. Boya and Oweza are two places. Uh, Oweza is to the east of Adi Erke. Buya is on Tigray Amhara border. Here uh, we have received some reports about uh, new reinforcements of Tigray forces which have arrived there. And from here they are moving towards Adi Erke. Has Tigray Defense Force taken control of Adi Erke? Ha uh, have they taken it back and moving towards uh, other places? Uh, like Tuber, we don't know. Uh, what we have confirmed is that uh, Tigray Defense Force, after withdrawing from Adi Erke four days ago, has launched a counter offensive towards Adi Erke. TDF is not going to retreat from this front, it means, because uh, if it uh, withdraws altogether from Mesamre, then Amhara forces ENDF, they'll try to push TDF to the east of Takeze. So that is why I think Tigray forces are trying to launch counter-offensive on the RK front. In coming hours, we'll try to update you about on-the-ground situation in the RK. Has it been retaken? What about Tuber? We are receiving uh, unconfirmed reports. The confirmed report which we have received so far is that... Uh, Massive counter-offensive on the front by Tigray forces is underway. Thanks for watching.